Cars. We show Holly some love, y'all. Show some love. Woo! She does a great job here every week. You guys doing okay? Yes. yes. Show some love to all the comedians you've seen so far. Woo! So two young ladies are very good. Those new students, great job, ladies, great job. Oh, thank you. Very welcome. <laughs> military show tonight. Um, before I go, this is my tribute to the military. Here we go. I'm a Navy man, a real Navy man. <laughs> Yeah. Woo! Woo! Yeah. I was around when the Navy was fun. <laughs> when you go to breakfast in the morning, you hear me doing this. Mama, mama, can't you see? As we march by the thousands. What the Navy's done for me. They cut my hair, shine my shoes. Woo! Got me wearing Navy blue. Right, right, right on. Boogie down and get it on. Right, right, right on. Boogie down and get it on. I was, you know, almost going to jail. She said, you better do something with your life. What do you want to do with your life? What do you like? I said, um, I don't know. I said, I like water. I like swimming. She said, well, you should go live with your uncle because he got a big-ass pool. I said, what? I got an uncle with a big-ass pool? Ma, you ain't tell me. What's his name? What's his name? She said, Sam. <laughs> Uncle Sam. <laughs> Trick me. Real talk, first week in the Navy, I get busted with a bag of weed on the ship. Woo! Real yes. talk. Yes! First week in 81, everybody smoking weed. Everybody smoking weed in the Navy. Before those parties clashed, or crashed. But the first, I'm, I'm in front of the captain the first week. He said, Oh, young man, Chip, or uh, Sheely, Jerry, you're new. Uh, 45 days restriction, 45 days extra duty. First week. He said, I'll keep an eye on you, buddy, and keep this in my files. Yes, sir. So that's how I started off in the Navy. Now, the Navy, we go to Portsmouth, and we get a call from the captain. Oh, uh, this is the captain speaking. Liberty call, liberty call for everyone. Two days. Go enjoy yourself. Uh, Jerry Sheely, <laughs> you're the quarterback. <laughs> Right? So before we go, the captain said, listen, you guys, real talk, don't go here, and don't go here. Very dangerous. No sailors will go to those two places. Don't let me catch you over there. Now, we misinterpreted that. <laughs> <laughs> when he said, don't go here, and don't go there, we heard, only go here. <laughs> only go there. <laughs> so that's what we did, right? So you know it's one o'clock in the morning. Guess who I run into real talk in a bar at one in the morning smoking hash? The captain. <laughs> Evening, sir. Jerry, you see you in the morning. I said, sir, is that my weed you smoking? <laughs> the captain, y'all. And now the Navy stopped um, smoking weed when those pilots crashed um, on that plane. After that, in 81, later, that's when the zero policy took, uh, took place. But I love the Navy. I miss the Navy. And then we had a policy called the don't ask, don't tell policy in the Navy back then. I had my own don't ask, don't tell policy. I was an engineer, cyber security, walking around the ship all night, late, checking out things. And men who go out to sea for a long period of time with no women around, they start acting strange. <laughs> Serious? And I used to sneak up on them. And I walk around, this my, my don't ask, don't tell part. I walk around uh, and I say, well, what y'all doing? <laughs> and the gay guy would be like, don't ask. And the married guy with kids say, don't tell. You're a secret is me. I mean, I'm serious. We're gonna talk. We go out, party, hang out, get drunk, come back at 5 o'clock in the morning, real talk. These dudes are still in the shower. I'm like, what y'all doing? <laughs> and then the roles reverse. The gay guy said, don't ask, and the dude with the family said, don't tell. <laughs> so I said, my pillow was, you know where it is, they need a couple hundred bucks. 
But that's my don't ask, don't tell policy. That policy has changed now. They don't call it don't ask, don't tell anymore. They call it, um, um, uh, bye Felicia. <laughs> You know, when I came out of the Navy, one of my first jobs was a security officer. You know, Navy security officer, right? And I got the job because the, they don't pay very well. They pay very well, average pay. But you get the uniform of a three-star admiral. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. And I would love to go to the Naval base and hang out at the officer's club with other high-ranking officers just like myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I better get out there. Yeah, what's your name, man? He said, William Johnson, two-star admiral, chief of naval operations, Norfolk. I said, woo, powerful man. <laughs> woo. He said, well, who are you? I said, security officer Sheely, three-star admiral, 7-Eleven, Ocean View, midnight shift. I was serious. I know. Uh, no. You know, I learned in the Navy also the thing that, that black folks and white folks, we do water differently. <laughs> we do beach differently, right? I go to the beach, little white kid on a surfboard with a diaper on, two years old, pooping and shit, talking to me, here, sharky, sharky. Mom, two miles down the beach, get drunk. <laughs> My mom didn't play that shit. I'm at the water, at the beach, on the water's edge all day. If my feet touch that water, I hear this. Jerry, you don't get your black ass from that water, you're going to drown your ass. I ain't going in the water, my mom. Also, I learned, here's the question. Why do fish that black folks catch have, smile, have frowns on their faces? And fish that white folks catch have smiles on their faces. I found out what it is. White folks, y'all fish for sport. Right? Y'all catch the fish, take a picture with it, and you throw it back the It's a game for y'all. <laughs> Black folks, uh, it ain't no game for us. We don't catch a release. We catch, and it's the grease. <laughs> He's going, he's going to meet his friends. Oh biscuits and gravy. You know? And uh, you know, a lady asked me once before, she said, why are you always like this? Energetic and happy and positive all the time. She said, what's wrong with you? <laughs> she said, have you been like this since you were a baby? I started thinking about it. You know, I, I don't know. If I've been like this since I was a baby, so I started thinking about it. Hmm. Me as a baby. Me as a baby. Hey, everybody. It's me as a baby. I'm hungry. Can I have a fish fry? Because I'm a baby. <laughs> I need a drink. Hennessy and Coke, I prefer. Because I'm a baby. What was that? That's all right. I'm a baby. <laughs> so that's the answer, yes. Thank you, guys. That means baby. You guys doing all right? Yeah. Yes. So you know what? I went to a black Mexican restaurant in Cleveland, Ohio, where I'm from. Wow. A black Mexican restaurant. Right, oh my days. And uh, I got a minute left? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, uh, and, and, and you know how to bring out the, the chips with the white sauce and the red sauce? Yes. They brought me out some barbecue potato chips and Texas Pete House. <laughs> I ordered a margarita. They brought me out some wild Irish rolls and ice. <laughs> that shit was delicious. I ordered a chicken burrito. They brought me out two fried chicken wings, wrapped in some white bread. I said, come on, man. I said, no Mexican restaurant. I shouldn't know by the name of it. It was Juwan Mexican Restaurant. Before I go, I'm a veteran. I'm also an inventor. Woo! And, uh, I got some postcards. I will be on Home Shopping Network real soon. I'm Woo! Home Shopping Network. Woo! Because I have a hard time taking a shower. Right? When I take a shower, I got to lean against the wall, put one foot up here, right, and find the soap. 
I just hope ladder my hands right so I get this foot ladder. One time I did that and put this foot down, lifted this foot up, and I forgot how slippery this foot was. Long story short, the drywall folks came out on Tuesday. Coach of folks came out on Wednesday. And my neighbor still refused to drop the charge on calling me a few times. That's my time, y'all. It's called Clean Your Feet. Go to our website. Woo!